we are looking for a stolen black Volvo. I think I found it. 23, 20, 29 on a personalized plate. 12872. Hey, you're going to find a Did you? I don't know. For the shit, I was like, no, you're going to find something. You want to Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we're going to make sure that they're going to come and then give it to the owners. That was Ari Goza. That was a good catch. It's always a good thing to find stolen vehicles because imagine you wake up in your car not there, you know, and that's your only method of transportation. You have a family to feed, you have now no car to get to work. So now someone gets to have their car recovered. That's exciting. If I wasn't a police officer, honestly, I would I would just be a manicurist. I really enjoy doing that. Uh, well, if I wasn't a police officer, I'd probably be a soccer player somewhere. <laughs> in, in Europe. In Europe. <laughs> Well, for me, I went to school for like, I got a degree in science, so I'll probably pursue something in that field. Good job. Well, good thank job. you. Honestly, killed it. Thank you. There's multiple 911 calls that dispatch is getting right now. So 23, the RV is in our parking lot saying that he was hit with a bottle. And what happened, Luke? His eyes. What happened? This guy right here fucking just assaulted me with a bottle. And fucking, he where did he assault he you? He stash it in the truck. He Luke. got it in. Okay, where did he assault you? What right happened? here, man. Just no, the in your body. Where? Oh, right here. I'm on the side of my head right here. Okay, let me see. Right here. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, where are you going? Dude, I'm not here fucking trying to fucking recover from other shit. Okay. Bro, you can't clance off my fucking head, you think I'm lying? Let me see, turn to your left. Brendan, take that clance off my head, though. Brendan, take that and show us on camera. Have you talked to him? No, Brendan, take that. Brendan, fucking camera's back, man. I'm gonna go talk to him. So he says that he was assaulted. He said that he was hit in the, struck in the head with a water bottle. I don't see any type of injury, but we're gonna go see what's up. Oh, I know you. How are you doing today? Good? What do you have here? Yeah. He hit you in the head? Let me see where. Right here. Okay. Let me see your hands. Now go like this. I'm just gonna make sure you got no weapons, okay? So go ahead and turn around. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and lean on this so I don't want you to fall, okay? Um like he hold it in like, like this. And hit me in my head. In the back? Right here. Okay. So I'm just letting you know, last time I know that you straight up kicked someone in the head when right, they were sitting I, I down, right? I didn't say nothing, so I was doing something else. Okay. You didn't assault him first? No, I was doing something else. Okay. I'm just going to get your information, okay? Do you have any marks? No. Nothing. Not even him. So, both of you guys have to separate right now, okay? Hey, look! Go the other way! Look, go the other way! Like he's trying to get away. <laughs> Walk the other way. Dude, I'm gonna take you got a problem anymore, right? We're gonna arrest you if you don't stop following him, okay? So stop following him. Stop following him. I'm not gonna follow but he follow me though. He's not following you. He fucking hit me with a bottle though. Rose the tape back. Walk the other way, Luke. Now, I am walking the other way. My watch is in distance. Right now, since both of them have very conflicting stories and we're not able to prove that neither of them were assaulted with any type of bottle because no one has any injuries um and both of them declined medical attention um we're just gonna make sure that they're completely separated right so either they got in some type of argument or dispute because the thing is that when sometimes they don't want to tell us the truth right so it's either a drug deal gone bad one of them is mad at the other one I'm not bothering the guy. I'm not even looking at that guy. Joe, got in for the bottle. Got in for the dope. Got in for the bottle. Got in for the do nothing, man. Got to check out Joe. Got in for the bar, man. Whatever y'all did, man. Stop bothering me. I'm not bothering him. I ain't saying. You're bothering me. Just leave me alone, bro. Shut up. You do your job. You too. You do your job. You say that. So what? What's going on, you motherfucker? Stop fucking piping me in the face. I got hit with the bottle. Y'all need to take that. Good call. Another guy's not even here. 
If he was right here, he was following him. Where, where's uh, Mr. Brown? I don't want to see I looked away, but he walked up. Yeah, I think it's Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need a paramedics? Any paramedics, man. Okay. 23 control. If we can have uh, fire department respond to 801 Truman for Luke. Uh, he's complaining of shortness of breath. 10-4, I'm just confirming he's asked me to know. A from. 23, I'll be called 6 with Luke at the you McDonald's. Are you just drunk or are you... No, I'm not drunk. I'm fine. I'm talking with sense. I'm it fine. actually does sound like you're drunk. No, I'm That's fine. I'm talking with a lot of sense. You know what? You're drunk. You're drunk, you're drunk because you fucking made the wrong decision. I'm asking you if you're drunk no, or if you're under the influence of something. No, I'm not drunk. Are you drunk? I'm asking you because paramedics are, are going to ask for I'm this. I'm not drunk at all. I haven't drank anything. Okay. So are you under the influence of something? No, I'm not under the influence of something. No? Man. Okay. To make sure of that, because you don't give a fuck, okay? You would have made a phone call, you okay? I got to make a phone call, man. Okay? Luke, they're on their way already, okay? Yeah. He now is going to be calling 911 requesting fire and paramedic, which we already did. But uh, he's going to be doing it again with the people. 23 engine 898 is on scene. No, 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 we're, we're, we're gonna get yeah. up, okay? You can check my body in the hospital. Okay? I'm killing, I'm killing you, mother. 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 I'm killing what? <laughs> we're booking <laughs> the bicycle on tape. Keep it. Luckily, we're right across the street from the police station, so we're just gonna walk it over. <laughs> That's funny. This is a what? A Genesis. I want to say like maybe 80% or 90% of our career as law enforcement officers consists of writing reports. We spend a lot of time here writing reports. Um, we do have nights, just like today, you know, where it's been a little bit more active outside so we don't spend so much time at the station. But for the most part, we have a report to write. We're going to be here. Okay, let's go out to the field now. Just around the stop. X-ray 669 for a red 2000 Chevy 4 door. You see how they made that same turn? Hello, hello. Do me a favor, just turn off the car, yeah? The reason I stopped you is because your back tail is out. So left one. You guys were all making all kinds of turns and you just ran the stop sign back there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it's currently suspended? Okay, okay. Just go ahead and sit right here for me, okay? 23, you're advised when you're clear for a code 10. He's been shot, shot 16 times. You've been hit 16 He got hit in the head. And what? You've wait. You've been hit 16 times, bro. You saw, you saw. Six <laughs> feet, 200. 200. How'd you get into uh, hanging out with the Crips? I mean, I grew up in that area. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Where'd I grew you grow up, up over there all my life, uh, and then my dad, my dad was blood, so it was just like oh, oh wow. Hey, you actually have a scar? Yeah, look at it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it scraped you. It glazed. Uh, it bounced off my skin. Okay. What are you on probation for? Pistol. For a pistol? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, you have anything illegal in the car? I'm not gonna find anything. Okay. I have to ask you though, why were you doing all those turns? Huh? Why are you doing I'm those turns? lost. Look at right here. And I was you on the phone. I'm telling you, look, I'm telling you, I'm lost and I was on the phone. And the reason you got pulled over just because of that tail light. Tail light. Okay. okay.
Go ahead. And I'll be traffic on McClay and Silas. Correction, Cornell. Traffic McClay and Cornell. You take the back, no hits. Current regs 2010 Nissan out of Arita. Oh my god, how many of you guys is there? What? A, how many of you? What? Five, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. What do you mean five? Turn off your car, yeah? You just ran a red right in front of me. Why? It was just because there was no one there. I was just trying to get us home. I didn't want us to be all crammed up. Like yeah, but still, you're not supposed to be running red, especially if you have this many. Come on, there's a whole family in here. I know, I'm so sorry, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everyone just stay in the car, okay? Vehicle is occupied by seven. I opened it and I was like, what the heck? It was like all stacked up in the back. So I can't let you guys all go in the car right now, like this. Okay. The refs are leaving? You have your uh, registration? Yeah. And your insurance? Um, so I'm going to be citing her for failing to stop at the stoplight. She said uh, she was sorry because she was just trying to get her friends home. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm going to give you a ticket for is running the red light, okay? Bye, ladies. I did get a speeding ticket once. I'm out of it. I'm tired. I want to go home. Oh. What I want to tell my future self is uh, I'm proud of you and you're doing a good job. And if you're having a bad time right now, just remember the good times, okay? Hey, your mustache is coming out good. Really? Yeah. But right now it looks good. <laughs> right now it looks good. <laughs> can't grow anything. This is all it goes. This is actually like, how old am I? 25 years of making. I haven't shaved 25 years. I was actually born with it and it just stays the same size. <laughs> I came out of the womb with it. And then we cut. To a Photoshop photo of a baby with a mustache. <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> they should have done this on you, dude. This would have been great for you. We're gonna go back to the station. We're gonna print out the report. I'm gonna turn it into the watch commander. We're gonna move the bicycle from where it was to the evidence room. And we'll see uh, what happens after that. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to the gym. It is about 4.30. Yeah, 4.35. And we're just getting some quick reps because the body needs to pump sometimes. I'm not working out, okay? <laughs> this guy's just... Oh, I right hear. Ass the grass, baby. <laughs> I can't, I can't with you. Look at his energy that he has at 4 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so right now I'm going to be um, uploading all my body worn camera footage into our system. Okay, throw it and let, if it lands in my mouth, I'll eat it. I have to provide it for It's okay. We're literally with a friend's Yeah, we are. Dude, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. Okay, wait, wait. Throw it high. Like, Mm -hmm. Ready? No. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Never give up. Um, I'm unloading everything from the unit and then putting it in my cubby. Uh, pretty much at the end of every shift, again, we take out all our equipment, clean out the unit in full, and make sure that there's nothing left. No trash, no evidence. Right now, I'm going to change and we're going to go home. And then I'm going to sleep. Okay, it's <laughs> Right now it's 6.50 in the morning. It should take me approximately 50 minutes to get home. So, um, but I'm extremely exhausted right now. I'm very tired. We're not injured. We're alive. We're well. We got to eat. We got 
to uh, interact with the community. It was my first Halloween working. And I got to see how busy that street gets. I Today was a good day. Honestly, like, as I'm going home, there'll be times where I'm just like, thanking God, like, hey, thank you. Thank you for letting me be safe. Thank you for letting, all, for letting us all be safe. So I guess it's the time for, for me to just think, be grateful. You know, I, I, everything that happens, I try to be grateful the first thing. We're about three minutes away. This traffic might delay to five minutes though. For those extra two minutes, you know? <laughs> right now that I'm home, I'm gonna have a nice ramen soup and I'm gonna go to sleep right after. <laughs> you wanna be happy with what you're doing, right? I think it's important that you wake up and you feel motivated and driven to do good work, whether it may be doing nails, being a barber, teacher, anything, you know? But as long as you feel fulfilled, right? Because our time here on this planet is limited. You know, sometimes I think we're so afraid of making a decision or, you know, following that passion or following that, you know, curiosity inside your mind, like, what could happen if I pursue this? Just do it, just, just go for it.